Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, I want to go to radar first, and this is our first of two storm systems already dropping in. This is the Canadian connection. It's basically dropped straight out of Canada, but you can see the precip. There's not a ton of precip right now, but some rain and some snow, it's pulling into California, so that's going to be developing uh, tonight into tomorrow across uh, most of the Sierra, and you can see the precip rolling into Idaho, parts of Montana. Um, but the big days are still ahead of us for snowfall in the Wasatch, the Tetons, and in Colorado. So it's going to take a little bit of time to move this thing through. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So all in all, two storm systems between uh, today and 411 across the west. The second storm is really going to dive pretty far to the south. I'll show you that coming up. That hasn't changed. Uh, but here's the timing for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Sierra in the northeast. So for example, in the Wasatch, I'm forecasting light to moderate snow accumulation, 4-5, and then it turns heavy heavy on 4-6. So that's your key time frame in the Wasatch. In Colorado, heavy snow accumulation afternoon, evening of 4-5 through 4-6, and then moderate accumulation 4-8 and 4-9. In the northeast, your heavy snow is all the way through tonight and throughout the day tomorrow along with 60 to 65 mile an hour wind gust and then just light leftover snow on 4-5. So we'll look at all that in this forecast update. I want to take you to uh, water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon and so again, on this, your moisture loft is in your whites and your blues, and a couple of things to mark. Well, there's our northeast storm taking shape, so it's rolling up. Um, then you've got, uh, this is our storm I just pointed out on radar, and there's obviously going to be another storm behind this that'll roll in right on its heels. So all this just following the northern branch, which is buckling here. So this storm will come and kind of just pinwheel its, through, pinwheel its way through the uh, the inner mountain. And then behind it, this storm's going to go much, much further to the south, dig almost into Mexico before shooting up through New Mexico and Colorado late in the period. Watch the jet stream forecast here. So by close of business today, you can see that storm coming with the dip in the jet rolls into California. Then it moves into the interior on 4.5 and 4.6. And again, that's when we get the best snow accumulation or heaviest through the Wasatch, Tetons. And it also moves through Colorado as well on 4-6 and then that moves away here comes the second storm and look how far south it goes all the way down through Arizona New Mexico and then it kind of fires north through New Mexico and into Colorado it could turn into a Colorado area of low pressure it may spin up and strengthen just a little bit on 4-9 before exiting 4-10 4-11 but you can see the jet then by 4-11 it's gone and 412 still looking kind of a north to south jet across Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. So whatever comes up over the top will slide all the way down. There may be some residual moisture. I'll show you that here on the on the forecast radar. This is at 530 today. So there's our precip off to the Pacific Northwest in California. It continues to develop tonight and to tomorrow. It takes its time. There it is finally moving into the Wasatch on 4 or 5 in the afternoon. Same for the Tetons. Fills in over Colorado that night into Saturday. Continues to go. Now this is Saturday in the afternoon. Notice on the northern side there's still some heavy snow there projected um, for parts of Montana and Wyoming, but it's not as much as what I was looking at this morning. The deformation is not as significant you can see it there, it kind of it kind of angles away from Big Sky and a lot of those areas that it was right over the top this morning. So just a slight shift there. Now you can already see the next storm system potentially um, coming in. There it is. You can see it diving to the south across the four corners. Starting to see the return moisture across Colorado and New Mexico. There's 4-9 in the morning. Fills in 4-9 in the afternoon and then it's gone by 4-10. It's possible this shifts a little further north. It's still a long way out. May turn into something a little bit bigger. Not sure yet. But watch what happens by the time we get into 4-11. Look at everything coming straight down the jet. 4-11 and even 4-12. That's a long way out too, but certainly possible. And then you're looking at a big high pressure over most of the West Coast at this point. All right, latest in numbers. So grand total map by late 412. Um, looking at potentially one to two feet in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon, but and that happens mainly on 4546, but substantially less up around Park City, um, Deer Valley and Snow Basin, that whole corridor up there. Um, and then probably 8 to 12 in the Tetons. In Colorado, um, looking at potential. And the numbers have come up a little bit across the Front Range Peak, but that's mainly because of the second storm. The western slope will by far and away get the most accumulation, certainly out of the first storm. I'll show you it by time period coming up. But notice the numbers in Montana have gone down. This morning we were looking at a foot or more in a lot of places. Those numbers have slipped down just a little bit. Okay, let me do my time period. So rest of today through tomorrow, it's mainly with Storm 1 coming off the, uh, the Pacific Northwest and West Coast. 
period two, four five through four seven. Again, that's when the Wasatch, the Tetons, and West, the western slope of Colorado picks up the bulk of the accumulation. Um, in Colorado, probably six to twelve western slope, and less in Summit County, less on the Continental Divide, probably four to eight in those zones. Okay, let me look at the next time period. So this is the final. This would account for that second storm system that comes up through New Mexico and into Colorado. That's where we get that additional accumulation on the Continental Divide of Colorado, up around Loveland and A Basin, and Winter Park, Keystone, Summit County. That would tend to benefit those areas more, and also down in parts of New Mexico. And you can see on the northern side, just less accumulation than we were talking about this morning through Montana and parts of Wyoming. All right, let's go to uh, the northeast. So again, you're in heavy snow tonight through tomorrow with high winds, and then it lightens up on 4-5. But still looking at a good foot, a solid foot for a lot of the major ski areas through Vermont, Whiteface, uh, New Hampshire, and Maine, working on two feet in a number of places, especially over Mount Washington, Sunday River, and Sugarloaf. So um, again, that, that is underway, a major storm system. And the track, now that we're pretty much into it, I think this is what we're going to see. I think there's a very high likelihood of that. Okay, let me go back. We'll end on this for the afternoon update. Again, grand totals by 412. Still looking at some good snow here with two different storm systems. Anywhere in purple is over a foot on this map. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this afternoon mountain weather update. Always appreciate it, and take care.